Nameless as she was called, missed most of school, but she taught those imperative lessons I have never learned in any school course. The education I received took time and often repeated for indulgence. I never asked nameless tricky questions since her language and mine were indistinct with our malevolent presence speaking over the supernatural spirits, making the ghost of speech invisible. Yet we had our own communication, like greater intimate acknowledgement of our companionship. My own assignments were of great struggle. Learning who I am is more attractive than striving to be who is desired. I have traveled where no vision exists, through defensive moves, then education, by a body design of long, thin legs, as she taught me how to balance and steer. Nameless leaned with invisible pressure, towering towards sky in supplication, swaying with physical and mental strength, exerting her invisible forces. My cravings were immersed in her cupped hands, distorting my body into shapes formed, merging bodies beyond concrete boundaries. Nameless new headlines, but not the story. Our conversations lacked embellishment, with no capacity for discussions or sophomoric forms of writing letters. Inevitable, she could not spell words. There was no need to discuss history, nothing outside of what made us feel good. She imparted knowledge through her instinct as she disconnected me from thinking. I could not see what was self-evident, even with years of school institution. Maybe Nameless did not read the great books. She, a walking encyclopedia of pulp culture, knew nothing about school, but my informed, strong-willed mind did not care. Nameless was better than competitions. I knew she was fundamentally flawed, but so was I, being scientific. She taught me social skills for a few nights, lessons not taught in technical classes. Nameless taught me a new physical world, involving back-breaking experiment, entailing demanding observation, requiring systematic study. I knew other boys needed their lessons. I made an offering to appease her, but my time intervals with her had passed. Yet I enjoyed the romantic lessons, those never acquired by skill in school.